Good morning. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I'm here at 3906 Goodland Avenue in Studio City, and I am preparing to perform a video examination of the main sewer line for Colleen Sappler. Now, the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is now focused on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be sent to our office. So I wasn't able to locate an exposed or accessible uh, main sewer line cleanout. Uh, main sewer line cleanout is an area outside the structure that has a removable cap, allowing access into the main sewer line as the drain system exits the structure and its uh, main purpose is for maintenance of the main sewer line. So what I've found here is the uh, four inch clean out under the house. This is basically just inside from the left side sub area access. You can see we've got our camera set up here. And you'll see some of these newer drain pipes from some of these fixtures tying into this original cast iron stack. We're going to drop in through this clean out here, push through about, I don't know, almost 20 feet of piping or so to get outside. We're going to run straight out the front of the building. Now, I'll be able to look at the line from here, but this would not really be ideal for cleaning. And you'll see why here as we get into the system. So I am going to be pushing through a portion of this building drain system here, or the pipes under the structure because of where I've had to get in. And uh, I have discovered that this uh, original building drain, the original cast iron pipe, is beginning to fail. You can see here we've got uh, some roots penetrating through the top of the pipe here. This is back under the structure. So um, while the main sewer line outside is uh, you know, the focus of our examination because I'm seeing this and there's no other way to see it, but with the camera, I'm going to be recommending that this drain system from this uh, stack here out to the front where we've marked out for the main sewer line clean out to be exposed, uh, that should be replaced. And you'll see as we push through that, it's just old cast iron pipe that's failed in that area. So it's basically time to upgrade it. All right, so right here about 15 feet, we're changing to a vitrified clay piping. And you'll see just around the corner here, you'll see that opening at the top of the pipe. That's our main clean-out. Uh, that's where I'm putting a red marker flag uh, indicating its location so that it can be exposed and extended to the surface. It's between two and three feet deep. So I'll just dig that area up and extend that pipe up. And you'll see why that clean-out is necessary as we continue along here. We've got a little bit of a settled section here in the clay pipe. You can see it's holding a little water. It does make it difficult for us to see through here. But that minor settlement in these clay pipes is not all that uncommon. And certainly as long as there's no damage or obstructions in there, we're not going to stress any importance in replacements. So these uh, clay pipe materials, they are expected to have a, a long service life. This is a natural material, so it is less likely to deteriorate underground, but it is more brittle in nature and does have a higher potential for damage during seismic activity or earthquakes. Now we are seeing some uh, root intrusions in the line, kind of varying degree, and as we get down further, we're going to run into more significant roots. It's not uncommon in these older clay pipes to see roots coming in at the joints where these pipe sections connect. Normally we would be suggesting that those roots can be maintained with regular sewer line cleanings, which is one of the primary functions of that main clean out. But when they're left unmaintained for extended periods, they, they do have that potential to create blockages potentially damage the pipe. You can see how we knock some of those out of the way. They're creating some slow drainage, debris buildup, all that good stuff. So definitely in a situation now where this line should be cleaned. And 
in order to do that, the uh, main clean out should be exposed. Now, uh, you'll see here we're going back underwater. There's more root intrusions here. So, really, what we're talking about in this situation is just a, a pipe with poor visibility because of the root intrusions. So, it's difficult for us to be conclusive in all of these areas. We kind of make out the roots here, causing the slow drainage. All right, coming up near the front of the property now. It looks like we came straight out from the structure about uh, 45, 40 to 45 feet, and now we're making a turn to the right. Again, pretty significant roots through here. And this is the section where we really got a lot of debris and just can't see anything. And then uh, we'll be making a drop here. And this area here is pretty, pretty heavily root intruded. Now obviously these roots do create a bit of an obstruction, so I can't see if this pipe section has been damaged. This is a common area for these pipes to get cracks or minor breaks. So we're making these vertical drops. So I really, really want to see this system better. So what we're going to recommend in this case is, is that the line be thoroughly cleaned. Probably should maybe have a hydrojetting done to really get this pipe cleaned out. It looks like we're down into the six inch pipe now. It's going to run under the street, connect up to the public sewer. Root intrusions are lessening up here. Well, that's good. You can see this pipe under the street pretty good. A little bit of shifting here at this connection, but it looks like that's uh, not actual shifting. It looks like it was installed that way. You can see the mortar there at the joint seems to be fairly intact. And then there we drop down into our public sewer. So, really at this point, um, it's, it's difficult for us to be accurate as to the uh, overall condition, or, or more specifically, uh, the condition of the pipe in specific areas where the roots are limiting view, causing slow drainage, uh, preventing the camera from being able to see clearly. So, uh, this is a situation that is not all that uncommon. Uh, so, when we come out here, we're going to recommend that the uh, main sewer line clean-out access be exposed and extended up to the surface and then that the uh, line be thoroughly cleaned, preferably hydrojetted, which is a bit more aggressive method that uses high pressure water instead of uh, cable and blades. And uh, in this case, it's going to be more beneficial um, because it is going to really wash that pipe out clean and let us you know, maximize visibility. Other than that, uh, I am going to make a comment and suggest that uh, this original cast iron piping under the, under the uh, house itself. It's actually below the surface of the dirt. You can't see it, so uh, you know, we're going to have to rely on the camera to uh, take a look at that. But it should be uh, upgraded. It's starting to fail, and eventually it can start causing problems here under the structure. So, With that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video portion of the examination for today. Please do refer to the written report for the uh, description of the final findings and recommendations for today's evaluation, and including the recommendations for the cleaning and follow-up. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant day.